Dear Lord, thank you for this day. We are so grateful to be here today. We're so thankful for the weather. We're thankful for all the people that are so involved in keeping this day great for Paige and Clint. God, we know that things don't just happen by chance. And we know that you had a hand in this. So thank you for bringing Paige into our lives and for Clint. And we know that you are gonna bless their marriage. And God, please, please remind them that when times get tough, because they will, that they run to you and to each other because you are the answer. We are so, so grateful to be a part of this day. We are so grateful for this weather because it was not supposed to be this nice, but it's beautiful just like these two people. And we are so, so, so thankful for you because we would not be here without you. God, please bless them, bless this day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks, Sally. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We've been invited to witness Clint Smith and Paige Turner as they exchange wedding vows and promise to face the future together as husband and wife. Turn around. <laughs> what do you think? I think you're hot. Okay. I think it looks good. Good. So, Clint, do you now receive Paige as God's gift to you? I do. And, Paige, do you receive Clint as God's gift to you? I do. Well, oneness is God's design for marriage, and that means the two of you becoming one, no longer divided, but discovering that one direction your two lives take together discovering it in each moment with each new challenge what one decision you can make together no longer looking out for yourself but each of you looking out for each other you came here really as two individuals and two distinct lives but as you accept each other and believe in the vows you're about to make you will become one new family I Clint Smith take you Paige Turner take you Paige Turner to be my wife to be my wife my constant friend my constant friend and my love from this day forward my love from this day forward i promise to be your faithful partner i promise to be your faithful partner to love you unconditionally to love you unconditionally to support you in your goals to support you in your goals and to cherish you and to cherish you for as long as we both shall live for as long as we both shall live i page Turner. take you clint smith take you clint smith to be my husband to be my husband my constant friend. My constant friend. And my love from this day forward. And my love for this day forward. I promise to be your faithful partner. I promise to be your faithful partner. To love you unconditionally. To love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. For as much as Clint and Paige have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and have pledged their word to each other and given and exchanged wedding rings by the power vested in me by the state of Oklahoma and Almighty God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Clint Smith. I've known Clint for over 10 years now, and he asked me to talk to you today about what a great guy he is. So I can honestly say he's handsome, brilliant, he's funny, and what else did you write on here for me? <laughs> when I first met Clint, I moved to this little town in Oklahoma of Collinsville. From day one, we just had this unbreakable bond. We built this brotherhood from enjoying life to the fullest, sharing many hobbies, especially sports and beer. Paige. You look absolutely fabulous today, and as we all know you would. I look forward to many more games of Corno and beating you at that. Having some experience myself now as a married man, I came across some important information about marriage I would like to pass it on to you both. Paige, if you would so kindly place your hand on the table, please. Now, Clint, I'd like you to place your hand on top of Paige's. 
I'm told this will be the last time you'll have the upper hand, so make the most of it. <laughs> Clint, thanks for asking me to be your best man today. It's been a privilege to do this. I can see how happy you make each other. I wish you but nothing but happiness for your future together. So then, ladies and gentlemen, I invite you all to stand and raise your glasses to toast to the new husband and wife. We wish you well and your own happily ever after to Clinton Page. When I first met Paige, I thought that one, she was already married, and two, she had to have had at least like three kids at home. Um, that <laughs> was wrong as well, um, but little did she know um, that I would be the one that was preparing her for kids, um, especially after looking after me for two years, um, keeping me on the straight and narrow. But that's what you, you do. Um, you do it in a graceful and loving manner. Um, and I know Clint knows that as well. You want the best for every person that you encounter. So I know today you guys have waited a very long time for this, eight years. Um, it's finally here. Um, it's been an honor to watch it unfold. Um, both of you just are amazing individuals. Uh, you have the foundation already to build on a relationship um, and I just can't wait for the future um, for you guys to start your lives together have a house everything like that um, so you know what makes a couple you know communication you know your love for each other um, and you know to choose each other every day so if we could another toast please to Mr. and Mrs. Clint Smith Heavenly Father we come today right before you with our hearts full of thanksgiving for Clint and Paige. They are gifts to all the lives of the people that are here today. We pray that you just let us to hear from you today. Help us to notice every special blessing about this day, about this, this time, everything that you've prepared for them in Jesus' name, amen.